you guys. So we're gonna go over the hip thrust today. And... Hey guys, we're gonna go over the hip thrust today. So this is one of the best exercises for your butt that you're probably not doing. You won't see it too often in most gyms and uh, it, it's an exercise that's become a little bit more popular over the last uh, three or four years. So um, we'll go over some, uh, some technique um, some programming implications and uh, and some and also some uh, some flaws that are commonly made. So uh, we got a bench right here. You're gonna want to have a bench that you can support behind me. I have zero support behind this thing, so I'll have to be careful. Um, I'd like you to, to be more safe than I am, but you'll see what I mean when I push up against this. Um, I've got a barbell here and some dumbbells to show you how we can load it. But we go over technique first. I'll just do a body weight. So I set up tall this bench. The edge of this bench is kind of right around the height of like a bra strap. If you're a guy, I'm sure you can figure it out. But just kind of right across the upper back, sitting up tall. I want to spread my knees out, get my abs tight. I'm going to push through my foot with my heels down on the ground. I'm coming all the way up, getting a squeeze on my butt. My knees stay out, my chin stays down, so I'm not coming from this. My chin stays right here the whole way. And I'm coming through with a big squeeze on my butt. If you don't have to go all the way to the ground to touch, you might start to slip down. You just go down to where it's comfortable, but you, you, know, you do want to get some depth. So come up, and you're lifting belt buckle towards your mouth, put a big squeeze on your butt, making sure your heels stay down. And your chin comes down. And you're just moving this way making sure those knees stay out so you can get a bigger contraction on your butt. As far as loading the thing goes, I've got a barbell here. Now the one problem with the barbell is um, I've got these, these big 10 pound plates for the, in most gyms. Plates this with this diameter are going to be uh, are going to be 45 pound plates and the bar is 45 so add that all up and in order to have the bar high enough off the ground so you can slide it right over, you're going to have to be doing 135 pounds, which for a lot of people might be a little bit heavy to start. So if you don't have these, the luxury of having these plates, you might have to start off with dumbbells. So I'll show you those after, but I'll show you the barbell first. But obviously I've got a pad on right here because uh, that's kind of an awkward place to put a heavy barbell. And again, with the bench, you're going to want to support it behind you. But I'll just have to be careful with this. Please be safer than I am. So I'll push up through my feet, all the way up, big squeeze. And you want to be able to kind of hold it briefly for a second. You don't want to just kind of, kind of ram it right up. Hold down, my chin comes down. There we go. As far as dumbbell goes, And they just kind of put them right here. And that'd be it. So as far as common flaws go, I already went over one of them and if you, and if you lose this chin position, if you come down. The other one would be almost trying to use your lower back. So you don't want to feel this in your lower back. You want to keep your abs tight and your ribs down. You don't want to come up with this. I felt that one in my back. You want to really get the hips through. Push right out, keeping your abs tight. Or it comes down this way. The only other thing I can think of as far as technique flaws with this one is that if you're just starting out, you may actually try and use your quads. So we're trying to use our backside to this one. But if, you, if you're new to this, you may actually kind of Pop onto your toes, and the balls of your feet, your heels come off the ground. That's just you trying to use your quads. So you want to come down and really make sure to keep your heels on the ground. So you want to feel this tight, tightness at the butt, and you don't want to feel too much in the hamstrings. You really want to be focusing on, on the glutes for this one. As far as programming goes, I mean, it's, it's really limit, limitless. You can go three or four sets usually, uh, anywhere from six to eight. Eight reps for strength work, but you can, you can pop this one up to 12 to 20 reps uh, and even higher. 
Um, there's some different stuff you can do with bands and, and different ways to load it, but for now, just focus on dumbbells and barbells. Um, but that's the, uh, that's the hip thrust, one of the best exercises that you're not doing for your butt. And uh, you can leave comments below if you have any questions or you, uh, or you can shoot me a line anytime.